Larry David is a genius. He is a genius. He just won a lifetime. Of yeah, he is a genius. He really was the brains behind Seinfeld, right? Fucking A. Yeah. By yeah, the way, Larry David's been a friend of yours for over, what did 50 I, years. 50 I years. I met him when I was 12. You were at summer camp with Larry David. Hated him. Never saw him again until I became a comic, became best friends. I, I was probably starting, I was probably a drunk already. Right. I stared at him. I went, there's something about you that's spooking the shit out of me. Right. <laughs> and he, he got scared because he wasn't a drinker. He wasn't right. a druggie at all. Why like did that. you hate him at 12? Because he was a fucking ed prick. <laughs> he was a prick. Yeah, so was I. Why was he a prick? What did he do to you? Well, he was a, a gangly, obnoxious fucking asshole like I was. <laughs> he used so to punch me. I punched him. I used to beat him. We had fist fights. But when I became a comic, he loved my work, and I loved his work. And then right. one day I got drunk at 2 in the morning here in New York. Right. And, I, and something about him scared the shit out of me. And, and we retraced our childhood. I went, I went to this fucking camp when I was 12. I said, I went to camp. Which camp was that? Camp All America. I went, I went to camp. You're that fucking asshole? <laughs> and we came to blows at the bar. You, be, you beat him up. Well, we, we grabbed each other by our right. sweaters. So listen to this. About four months ago, right. I rarely see him. Right. The guy loves me. I got his back. He's got mine. But sometimes you just... You, 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 you know, you just You're doing your own thing. You do your own thing. I don't right. give a shit. Right. I love the guy, though. So he, goes to, he says, meet me at this restaurant in Beverly Hills. It was a real posh place. That's all right. I've been there. You know, I didn't give a shit. But he, I don't like him paying all the time. Right. So I, I mean, I got bread. But he's loaded, obviously. Right, right. So I got there a half hour early. Right. I knew the guy, Major J. He said, Listen, can you bring me the check. And they get nervous. Oh, Mr. David. No, no. Fuck Mr. David. I'm paying for the dinner. Right. He comes a half hour late. The Major D comes over. And, and I start, I look at the menu. And Larry says, Don't, don't embarrass me. He says, what do you mean, embarrass you? He says, He brings us the food that he wants us to eat. So what is this fucking, what am I, Papillon? Yeah. I'll order what the fuck I want. He doesn't believe in ordering? No, he says because they know, they let him let the chef bring us food. Wow. I mean, this is so unlike him because he's a real down-to-earth guy. Right. The guy brings th about 25 fucking entrees. Yeah. Now I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in for like $1,000 already. Right. The phone rings in 20 seconds. He's a half hour late. The phone rings in 20 seconds. Right. It's Steve Martin. I'm sorry for name dropping. All right. And Steve here's Martin, what, the here's famous what Larry comedian. says. See, what's wrong? Holy shit, I forgot. He closes his cell phone. He says, I have a poker game. It's, I, I forgot. And he left. And he and left you, you sitting there. And you were stuck with the... Stuck with 30 dishes and a $1,000 bill. <laughs>